Hi, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Time For You, our indulgent uh, personal friend time that we pack in the form of a podcast that's really not one. Leah <laughs> was just saying to me, yeah, I don't know what we're going to talk about today. I just wanted to hang out with you. And um, same, Leah, you know, that's like why we even started the podcast. It's our time together and yes. we just we just trick people into call by calling it time for you <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely true mm -hmm. how are you how are you doing Leah? i haven't seen you in a while mm, i know we, we it it's so fun we we love each other and um we are kind of in the same rooms sometimes yeah. lately but we are not like together doing something in these rooms it's like a coaching program with someone or but it's always just so nice to see you but actually what i did tell the people last time is that we are not going that i'm not going to talk about turkey because that was the last time we did hang out together yeah that we will talk about turkey together oh. so that's what i announced that just came to mind because i said it was so beautiful and i also told the people that just that it's for real the more we are aware and we see how things work and how our mind works the easier it is to be stuck with nine people in a minivan <laughs> and still having a great effing time i mean isn't that amazing it that is, it's practical it yeah well i mean we could just go there if you want yes. to not necessarily on the plan but we can go there because i've been hearing back from so many people about that trip and one of the things that comes up a lot is just how not just how joyful that that time was that we had together but you know it really was a coming together of a lot of strong personalities and um um so for people who don't know about it i turned 50 yes. um this year on the 27th of september yay and I had this inspiration to celebrate with my closest girlfriends. And part of it was me inside thinking, you know, what's really important to me? I've lived half a century on this planet. Hopefully, I'm going to be living a while still from now. Who knows? But, um, you know, how do I want to go into the second half of the century? And, and I had just a little thought about what's important to me. And of course, love relationships are important to me, like, you know, romantic relationships, of course. Um, family is important to me. Of course, my relationships with my clients are important to me. But one of the things that popped up and that was so vital to my life and that I want to put even more emphasis on in the next half of next half century mm -hmm. are my friendships. Mm -hmm. And I really noticed in the last, you know, two years where I had a bit of a down phase and a lot of struggling inside and out that I really had a group of friends around me who really helped me up, who really were there for me, um, who got on the phone when I needed to vent, cry, just chat, um, who, when I needed to have some fun and girl time and play and go shopping and those kind of things. And so it was just kind of something I wanted to do. And so I didn't even think about it very long. And I had the idea and I sent the invitation out. And all I knew was that I wanted to have a nine seater bus. Mm -hmm. So I thought there's going to be one driver and they're going to, there's going to be me. So that leaves eight other people to, to invite. And that's how I went about it and looking out into my life and saying, who are the eight special women that I want to spend a full week with for my birthday, mm -hmm. which is kind of also a weird thing because mm -hmm. who, at, who at the age of 50 mm -hmm. just says yes and leaves their families, their business lives and goes and celebrates a week with other women they don't necessarily know. <laughs> it was the first one who booked the flight and that just, I did ask my husband, is that okay? And he was like, yeah, sure. And it was like half a year ago. And we, when he came closer, it was like, oh, uh, Amore, uh, are you okay? I'm going to be away for like a week. Uh, oh, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a no-brainer. I just jumped on it. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so glad you did, Leah. And and it was also funny because, you know, I, I chose the location. Um, I chose the the program. And I just kind of told you guys, like, just show up at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're going to, I mean, I did send you an agenda to be fair, you know, like, but no, yes, but did. I, but I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't ask people what they want to do. Um, that is the beauty too. When you have close friendships, you kind of know the people really well. Mm -hmm. Like Leah, I knew for instance, Leah is some woman, she goes on vacation. She wants to be in the group. Like she's all about the group, but then she needs time for herself. So mm -hmm. I, I knew she needs to have probably her own room if she can get one. Yes. Um, she needs to have some time during the day where she can walk away from the group and go, like you did, you went to the beach like almost every day every by, your, day. <laughs> by yourself. And like, I was like chatting to Leah, like within walking distance, there are stores and shops. Like you can go have a coffee somewhere if you need yes. to, to do that. And, you know, I knew about Sylvia, like she loves to drink her wine in the evening, a nice mm. glass of white if she can get one. And I was starting to think, okay, how can we make this possible with the Turkish wine? So, yeah. And then we all got there and, you know, one of the things layer for me was the ability in that week, just being the person who's hosting the event. Mm -hmm. I think, I think some people can really get up in their head about the organizational details. Mm -hmm. They can get up in their head about how everything is going to work out. Um, you know, you've got almost 10 people you have to feed three times a day. You know, we were mm -hmm. cooking and traveling and so on. And so that's the first thing that I'm going to call out is just, I really was in this feeling of deep trust mm -hmm. that it's going to be fine and it's going to sh it's going to show itself to us every day mm -hmm. as it unfolds. Mm -hmm. So while there was this sort of um agenda kind of things I knew I wanted us to do cuz just cuz they were beautiful locations, fun activities, um things I wanted to share with you guys because I had been going to Turkey so much last year and just things that had totally touched my heart or flashed me because they were so beautiful. Um, I didn't know the nitty gritty details of every day, like what exactly we're going to mm -hmm. cook or how we're going to uh, necessarily get along or whatever the thing. And being able to be just in a relaxed, mm -hmm. very present state around that happening so I think that was like one of the big mm -hmm. ease of being in this understanding, mm -hmm. um, just present and open to what life is going to let happen. Mm -hmm. So what about you? What was one of the things that you saw during that week mm -hmm. that was amazing to you? Yeah, I think just what you mentioned, like you as a host being um, at home in yourself and mm -hmm. Uh, what I told you, what I what I um, observed was in every woman, I could see a, a, a something that reminded me of you. So mm -hmm. it was, even though I I didn't know, I did know half uh, of the people probably. I I I could see why you love them and vice versa so this deep connection with you um instantly connected with me with these friends with your closest friends too so yeah. that was very interesting to me and um to all of us we've been willing to to do exactly the same as you did in the preparation um we were willing to to let you lead and life lead both yeah. in a way yeah and still being able to hold space for specialties and uh one day i had to wait for someone another day someone else had to wait for me a uh, third day it was whatever it was so it had like this compassion for each other and room and and in a way we we all did let loose 
Yeah. And for the love, for the celebration, for being together and and making it as as unforgettable for you as possible. And yeah. through this love, it was unforgettable to for us as well. Yeah. So, and I mean, no, even though we are all humans with all the the flaws and all the ideas and all the the things we can get up in our head to to really see this group who doesn't know each other just is connected through you and in a way an awareness or an understanding not all of them had exactly the same understanding or were deeply into the principle but the majority um to to observe the unfolding of both like the group the celebration and life or of all of it was extremely touching throughout the week it yeah. really it really was to meet you yeah and it even had um it could have had triggering things in it so yeah. like heat or like very different political opinions or um very different um age groups or um very different uh, being into adventure or not being into adventure so it was not like we were all the same and had the same interest mm -hmm. and the same um humanly <laughs> yeah but we 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 were all able to always get present and get beyond the 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 humanly the human needs in a way yeah. Yeah. And that was so interesting, Leah. I mean, exactly like you just described, you know, seeing these totally different personalities and, and different, like you, one of the things that was so funny is, uh, was the level of adventure that some people had and some people didn't, you know, like some people are just the type who jump into the canyon in the freezing cold water and like go roping up the side of the waterfall and sliding back down and other people were just super timid about even getting in and feeling maybe fearful about doing that and just watching all these differences in human personalities and preferences and what was dominating though was absolutely the love and the joy mm. like I watched during the week a hundred times how somebody else you know, maybe was having the bubbling up of their humanness come up, but looking at someone else and making the choice to be compassionate for someone else, to take yes. care, to take care of someone else, to look after someone else. And it was the most, well, I get, I get just chills just mm. talking about it. Um, it was so much love there for, for each mm -hmm. other. And it was, yeah, it was just extremely touching. And also watching myself during the week, you know, mm. things didn't always go perfectly, you know, um, and just noticing when things would just feel a little bit tight. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, Alyssa has to do a call on the bus with all of us, like a professional interview with someone and everyone has to get <laughs> totally quiet. She has to have a certain place in the bus mm. and um, where I had imagined we're not going to be working at all on the trip, you know, and just being like, okay, that was this idea that you had, but this is what's mm. actually uh, happening, occurring, and that's perfectly okay. And just coming back to that space of being present, being with what is, and and making space for the needs of that are just happening in the moment and mm. watching everyone else get like super silent in the bus and giving her that opportunity to do her call. <laughs> you know, it's just, <laughs> just the funniest thing. Or, you know, I don't know, when the food is getting burnt or somebody mm -hmm. uh, has despite a very incredibly long list of things they need to get from the market forgotten for things and we have to go out four different times to you know <laughs> to get stuff and just being really 
relaxed about that, um, really going with the flow. Um, <laughs> one, one day, Aaliyah, it really comes to my mind. Um, it was that day that you went to get your hair done. Aaliyah, <laughs> Leah, that can I, burned my head. <laughs> Leah, tell <laughs> Leah, tell about your tell about your getting your hair done. Like, who does I, this on a? You know, a I, I, I've got a very adventurous side. Probably you, you already reckon that I was one of the adventurous one. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, and what I often do is when I'm not at home, I'm going to the hairdresser, even though I know it's not a brilliant idea. I just I don't know. I love it. It's fun. It's interesting. And my hair, Shelly knows that, is not a part of my personality. It's a playful part of my personality in a way. I have short hairs, long hairs, blonde hairs, red hairs, brown hairs. And that started when I was very young. And I love to play and 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 dress up and still um going on hikes in a <laughs> in a pretty little dress and <laughs> stuff like that. So I went to a hairdresser and um the the lovely person who who was the one who talked to the people there and could speak Turkish did set up the whole thing. And then I was there alone. And all of the sudden, this very young hairdresser and myself, we realized that we couldn't speak a word, not just a, a little bit, but <laughs> nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> so I thought she's going to make blonde highlights. But suddenly I realized on my head that it was bleach <laughs> and not highlights and I've got a little eczema like e a, eczema 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 when I did that 10 years ago in Berlin it happened back then that I burned my head because it was as well exactly the same thing I did choose the wrong color and it burned my head and since then on and off sometimes it comes and often it's not here but uh, it was a little bit um, on my head when we, I was in Turkey and it burned again exactly the same region and I was like oh wow 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 and she was like oh 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 and she, <laughs> and she could take it away but it was already quite um burned <laughs> mm -hmm. and at the end she did bleach it and she did color it and she didn't go all the way down to the mm -hmm. to the skin so it was fine but it ha already happened so I came back with a, a chemical burnt, burn a chemical burn and so everyone had an idea what to do with a chemical burn <laughs> and um that was very interesting and I was very chilled in a way. I was like, oh shit, I need to do something, but I don't know what to do at the moment. And um, Shelly and myself, we had this little secret that I did listen to you. I didn't <laughs> listen to anybody else. <laughs> and I just did listen to Shelly because her mom was actually a cosmologist. Cosmetologist, yeah. yeah. And you did remember that thing. And so we had this. And it was not like the most natural thing to do. It was mm -hmm. not like the oils and the herbs and the, Smear the some going cream into on it. The nature and just letting it heal in the sea. It was more like a conventional way we both went. And it was, that was very that was also very interesting to see all all the things that came up and everyone wanted to help and everyone had an opinion and and again then we just there is just one way and it's to listen inside and to go with what makes sense and it could have been all of it mm. and but I felt mm, I actually did it like the natural way 10 years ago. I, I remembered suddenly that I did put 
a neck and oil on it. And I mean, I had problems since then. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like, hmm, maybe I'm going to try something different this time. Yeah. So, and it's yeah. healed, guys, right now, a yeah. couple of weeks later. I'm so glad, Leah. It looked so bad. And I remember, <laughs> I remember when you showed it to me and I was just like, oh, God, that looks terrible. Like you couldn't see the back of your head, really. And I, I remember inside Don't of look lucky yeah, me. <laughs> it looked so bad. And I was I remember thinking, stay calm, <laughs> like just be like the calm person here. I'm like, oh, it's not that bad, Leah. Like, I felt you in the in the doctor way. like. <laughs> I know. And um, I'm I'm always good to ask in a medical emergency because I yes. like right on top of it with my AI and I analyze everything down yes. to the thing. Ask Alyssa, she'll tell you I'm really good in a medical emergency. But <laughs> yeah, no, but that, that, that day was so interesting because it was kind of, I guess that was like on day four or something in or uh, roundabout, maybe five, I don't know. But but then every it started bubbling up everywhere. Like somebody else was having an allergic reaction to their sunscreen. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to I had to figure out what to do about that. And then somebody else had an issue over here. And then the heat started to get really mm. bad for another person and they needed to find a alternative solution. To, <laughs> to, and it started happening on one day. And I was like, oh gosh, like I, I don't have children. And I, I started mm. to feel like, okay, now I'm the mama mm. hen and I'm I'm your mama for everybody here going yeah. on. And so I had a full day of just reacting from one little situation to the other. But um, it was so interesting. Yeah. What I also love about this situation is for you guys, Shelia doesn't like it that much. I mean, she loves us all and she would do anything for us, but she likes to babysit no ba love and 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 how do you say that uh pamper her dogs but she doesn't like to pamper people although maybe i'm actually an exception because she always <laughs> pampers me <laughs> even though i'm the mom so but what what was really interesting to see you in this role and i saw the widerstände like the mm. um what's widerstände like uh, resistance resistance and you just didn't let it get onto you mm -mm. you mm -mm. just came back to that's needed now and it's me even though that's not what i really like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah. and and that that felt like just really for, it's an example of the entire week for everybody because I think everybody got to a point where they were mm -hmm. in a form of human resistance to something that was happening that was needed and always just letting letting that resistance go and just doing the thing that is that needs to be done, that wants to be done. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so as always, it is an example of life. We can live life like this and we do very often because it's so much cooler to live life like this mm. and sometimes we forget when we are not in a van with <laughs> nine other people or when we are not like oh yes that's a situation I really need to just come back we forget about it but it's it is exactly the way and it is easier and more fun to not uh, uh, what I actually what 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 really was like more in my awareness after this week is this no again no I don't want to let my humanness get in my way effing hell no I decide yeah. here yeah. and I came back and I just told today a client like this awareness of more love, more compassion, uh, less Leah, more, yeah. more, hey, family, what, what could we do f even to love even more and to yeah. go with that and, and to be disciplined in a way as well, to not 
let loose and to be so into my layer humanness. I mean, that could be fun, but actually often it's just more drama yeah. and not more love, compassion, real fun, joy. So yeah. that was really, um, I, I often live my life like that, but it was so, so magnified, magnified, yeah, but, but I really could see it and, and, and take it home again or be aware yeah yeah for me too leah and uh that 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 is so i I don't even want to add anything to that because that was just so beautifully said i'll just add one more story leah got um (laughs) leah got super like sicky feeling in the bus do you remember leah like we, (laughs) we were we did this one travel day and and there was so many curves and this bus was it was a great bus it was awesome i had to meditate like for hours yeah and so leah says to me <laughs> do you mind if i sit up front and i'm like no 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 problem you know so you, you go right ahead because i had been sitting up front previously and i hadn't had any problems so i go all the way to the oh. back with Alyssa. you remember that the drive home in the evening i was almost at the point of throwing up in the back it was so funny and um i I just thought in that moment, isn't this, isn't this interesting? And Mm -hmm. like, I too was like coming to the space where I was just like, okay, just, just meditate, just relax, just Mm -hmm. come into this space. And and I thought to myself, would you rather be sitting up front? And I thought, no, I would rather Leah Mm -hmm. be sitting up front right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that was such a gift too, Mm -hmm. Leah, just the whole week feeling so much love for the, the people that you're willing to even sacrifice your comfort. Mm. Do you know? Totally. And and that is what friendship is to me. And mm. so that was another lesson that I took away mm. f- from the week. Mm. It, was, it was just beautiful. Mm. Oh, thank so you. Thank you for your nauseous <laughs> for me. <laughs> You're very welcome, Leah. I also and got... thank you for all of it, Celia. It was just an uh, amazing, amazing gift. Yeah. We love you so much. Oh, thank you. It was mm. an amazing gift for me too. So guys, that was our recap of Turkey without going into the details of what we did or didn't do, but rather how we experienced the week. And um, hopefully you got something out of it for yourself that helps you nurture more love and well-being and presence in your life. We would hope that very much. And we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah, bye.